Hi, I'm Cass Mullane from Prosper Creatively. I'm a business and accountability coach, and today I'd like to talk with you about vision boards. I work a lot with right-brainers and creatives, and a vision board is not necessarily limited to right-brainers and creatives. It certainly can be done by anybody, but the purpose of a vision board is to really get focused on what's important to you. Doesn't matter what's important to anybody else, what matters is what's important to you. So vision boards are really simple. You can make them with poster board and magazines. Actually, magazines are a great source of images, of words, of fabulous graphics, and women's magazines tend to be really good at that. So grab some old magazines and start flipping through and see what kind of imagery, what kind of words, what numbers, perhaps, if you're doing a business vision board, uh, numbers that are important to you, what resonates with you, and then pull them out. So you're going to be making something with images. You can draw them. You can take imagery off of your computer. You can search for things on the internet. Whatever works for you. Get some great images that really motivate you and put those on your vision board. So a vision board is a visual representation of what you'd like to have, who you'd like to become, or what you'd like to do in your life or your business or your project. One of the really cool things about vision boards is they're living, breathing things. They're not static. So if you put something on there, like you have a big, hairy, audacious goal, you put that on a vision board, when you accomplish that goal, first off, you've increased your odds of accomplishing it by putting it on the board and putting it somewhere where you can see it. But then when you accomplish that goal, you simply replace it with a new goal. Let me show you a couple of vision boards that aren't done with a poster board. You can do a simple book and then just fill the pages and uh, with, with imagery, with sketches, anything you like. Uh, here's an example of a, a book that has a little bit of a vision board right here. So there's bits and pieces that you can do, just parts that uh, are meaningful to you. You can do something like this, nice and fun, a little colorful, folded up, fun book. And uh, it, vision boards can take most any form. The key to the vision board, though, is having it available where you can see it, where you can open it up, where you can add to it. When you accomplish something, you, you change the imagery out to something new. They're fabulous tools. So I do vision board classes live, and I'll be doing them online probably mid to late 2015. If you'd like to register live with me in Colorado Springs, right here, there's the website, prospercreatively.com. I look forward to having you in class and get those vision boards done.